Hi guys, Nome is here. Welcome back to Nome Sound, a fictional Scandinavian city-state for episode number 38. In today's video, we will still be in the Rosengård district and start going into the hillside and transitioning down to a lower density than the central part. Hillside row houses, detached houses, a larger school with its own sports ground and a bus line to serve these new areas. But first of all, we'll be detailing the tram depot. Last time I just plopped down the tram depot on top of the hill here and didn't do much more with it. As I'm building here now, I'll go ahead and detail it, but keeping it very simple. It's quite a small depot, only serving a small light rail line for now. To spruce it up, I'll just be adding some security gates and a fence, and then on the inside some parking lots and general industrial props. On the side of the depot building, I've got some tracks for parking vehicles. In order to get an accurate replica of the vehicle, I have the game paused and lined the vehicle props up to an active vehicle so that I can see that it looks exactly right. And then just try to match the color to the line color as close as I can before I move it over and copy a few times just around the deep on the tracks on the outside. The first big project of this episode will be a large hillside row house development. This is something you can see a lot around Norway, hillsides where there are a lot of terraces of row houses going up the hill. I don't have a specific inspiration for this, just going off what I've seen in real life and doing my own thing. You can see I drew out this, these plain asphalt roads. Often when you get into neighborhoods there will just be these small plain roads without any side sidewalks. They are shared by pedestrians, people on their bikes as well as cars and have a very low speed limit. Once I place down all the roads I use some nice Scandinavian row house assets which I have detailed up quite a bit with Bob earlier so they look good just plopped down. A lot of repetition here but that is kind of realistic for a development like this. After getting the houses placed I need to have a transition between the layers. Using IMT I align all the levels with retaining walls, probable surfaces and hedges. I then place down some stairs which I will get functional on later with invisible paths so people can easily walk around where they need. And also you'll see with IMT I create a gap in the retaining walls just uh, shoving them over to the side so that the stairs can actually function. I felt it also made sense to break up the large pattern of houses a bit. So right in the middle, I put down a playground and a small football field. On top of the retaining walls, I lined it with parking spots, which I imagine belong to different houses on both sides of the road on all the levels. And it was just a really logical use of that space.
Since the light rail line goes along this road, it makes sense to just put some smaller apartment buildings along it. I have mentioned earlier that this whole district was quite a rural area before the housing project started taking over. And what I build now is one of the few remnants of how Rosengård looked before. Some curvy roads along the hillside with single family houses in the middle of a quite thick forest. Before the 1970s, this is how people here lived up in the hillside, where the lower lands were covered in large farm fields and industry. Along the river, I'm just putting down some mossy rocks to get more of the natural look. This area with the forest here won't be developed in and kept natural and untouched for citizens to enjoy. I'll come back later and make it into a nature park and make some hiking trails through it. This will serve as a border on this side of the district, while the opposite side of the river will be probably be more built up as part of a more central district. Thank you. 
course there is a busway here. I think it makes sense to have some apartment complexes along it, but less dense and a bit more spread out than what we see down in central Rosengård. The second big product of the episode will be this large school complex, which is a mixed elementary and high school. My thinking was that we're a bit out of the central parts and can allow more space for a really big school. To build it, I choose some high school and elementary school buildings from the Plattenbau collection and place a bunch of them down in sort of an organic layout. I'll connect them all with these glass bridge assets so that it really gives that feeling of it being one school, just with several buildings. On the back side of the school, I wanted a big sports ground, like you will see in some more suburban schools. First I put down a football field, and I wanted to have a running track wrap around it. There is a sports ground asset I have, but the scale wasn't right, so I converted it to PO and scaled it to fit the football field I placed down. All the students also need a place to have their own gym classes. So right by the side of the sports ground, I merged together a few gym halls to make one bigger one. With all buildings down, it's just a matter of detailing it up and then connecting everything up with paths.
quite a few houses up here now. It would be bad to have no grocery store within a nice walking distance. So I just put down one right below the school and did some very simple detailing around it. Before I forget, I need to put in the bus line along this corridor with bus lanes I set up. The roads with the bus lanes don't really work as intended out of the box, so I need to do some trickery with mods to make it work. With TMP, I'll ban cars on the bus lanes and then ban buses on the inner lanes, force them to use the lanes I want them to. And to make sure it all functions, I need to use the lane connector to make the bus lanes only follow straight along and then allow the inner lanes to go in all directions. The very last thing I'll do is make this forest bordering the district into an actual nature park, drawing in some hiking trails and connecting it a few places and then just putting down a few nature reserve assets to make people use the park in paths. So that is it for today's build, really hope you enjoyed it if you stuck around this far, and if you watched to the end I so appreciate that. Likes, comments and subscribes are greatly appreciated, it means a lot to me and will help me to grow the channel. I also do have a Patreon now in case you wish to support me further. Until next time, have a great rest of your day and stay tuned for some cinematics. <laughs>